Registrars of voters' offices across the state, as you might imagine, are literally off the hook, as in the phone off the hook, all day long, including here at Wallingford Town Hall. The law says very clearly that you can, you can only vote from where you place your head down at night. Robert Avery is Wallingford's Democratic Registrar of Voters and the Supervisor of Elections. People think they register once, they're registered forever. Okay. And everybody is calling, wanting to know, am I still registered? He says this year in Wallingford, they're expecting roughly 60% of the voters to cast their ballots by mail. There are dozens of people every, every day requesting absentee ballots. Which you can fill out online or by hand and either mail them back or put them in a drop box outside your local town or city hall. I understand with the corona and everything, but I think that there's a way to kind of avoid all that and literally come in out and do your American duty. But officials say polling places are safe with sanitary measures in place. So every voter gets a throwaway plastic glove and they, so they don't touch anything. Fill out one of those cards, please. She's part of a growing trend. Voters between the ages of 18 and 24 registering for the first time. I, I wanted to register because of, of everything that's going on. I don't agree with our current administration. Absentee ballots must be placed in a ballot box or in the registrar's office by 8 p.m. on November 3rd, election night. In a typical election year, Wallingford will see maybe 200 ballots mailed in. But this year, they're expecting five to 6,000. I'm Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.